awesome to see your presence already being felt one event into the season. Yeah, man, it's been a, it's been really eye-opening. It's been crazy. Um, love you guys. Thanks so much for all the support, and uh, we're going to have to tear them up tomorrow. up MFers. Day two here at uh, Toledo Bend and got off to a good start yesterday. A decent start. We are sitting in ninth place but the weights are really stacked. We had 22.9 and there's a ton of weights that are 18 to 22 and we were really we were one six pound bite that I got away from being right there in the middle of the pack so we need to make things happen today. Yesterday had so many big fish just nipped the bait and then the super giants would just wanted nothing to do with it but as you guys know with the Florida strain bass and all my videos one day the big ones don't bite the next day they bite the next day they don't bite so yesterday they didn't bite today we're gonna get the super giants to bite uh, we're gonna start off in a creek and I'm gonna try to get about 25 strolling and then we're gonna run to some big fish stuff try to get some 8 to 12 pounders off stumps so that is the game plan for today they're sitting there waiting for us all we got to do is execute and uh, it's gonna be a damn fun one. We're gonna have some more fun. I got zero jitters today, first day jitters. It was a little bit of a thing yesterday, but not too bad. The wind did switch from the south to the north, and so I think that'll be a good thing. Hopefully that screws up the bank guys like it did yesterday a little bit. Um, it was a south wind warm front yesterday, but north wind should get those offshore fish biting a little bit and should keep those fish held back even though we got that full moon. The moon did just go down, so I'm gonna see if I can launch the boat right now before the tournament starts, because they're probably chewing. Let's get it. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Make your own boat lane, right? <laughs> All right, dog. Get it, buddy. Come up. It's a better one. Daddy. Oh God, unless it's a catfish. No, it's not one fish. What are you? Two fish. It's probably 14. I don't wanna keep them though. Better one. All that jumping shit. Got 
they're so mad in here too. Sneaky little snake. Three pounder. What are they biting on, Patty? Oh, <laughs> he just catch one? He just catch one? Dirty dog. Not the big one. Too wiggly. Look at this one's belly. It's like a damn guppy. Two and a half pound football. Not long enough. So small. Got to take it from his buds, though. It's a keeper, maybe. Dang, no, he's not. Be a keeper. Maybe not. Side hooked. So fat. Kind of sucks in here, man. Kind of the same shit as yesterday out deep. Little ones out of their mind, all want to eat. Big ones gotta have the right bite window. Not even two pounds. Not even two. Runt, some would say. A rat. Him over there, he's the first to go. They definitely swam away. Shitty. Small ones. You doing any good? Yeah. If they think they're out today, like Patrick said, and I think he's probably right, the shit we're about to go to should be good. In theory. Begging. Oh, not as big as I thought. It looked like a damn blimp up there on top of the grass. Thought it was a seven, eight pounder. I'll take him. Remember, I got four pound on again. Right at the back of the drain on top. Really thought it was a giant one, man. But it bit, so I should have known better. Three pounder. Oh, there's one right there, too. Better one. Weird. Dying bass. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> so skinny. Oh, you're good, man. I'm just fishing the back right here. I appreciate it, though, dude. Yeah. This one's two pounds, Jesus. So bad. We got a limit, but it ain't shit. Ow, fuck. He just went up. Back down. There's another one. 
freaking following the boat. Not even chasing the friends in, just following the damn boat. Chasing the boat. See that? I think it's those two that I said was a good opportunity I missed. They didn't look very big. Just mad. That's a good one. Decent. Glowing down there in that water. Two. Chasing the boat. next fucking ounce bitch ass coals dude this ain't doing it that guy ain't strong enough to even go down uh two pounds it's like a lot of them aren't bass I think they're drum or carp or something she ain't getting caught she's eight to ten pounds and smart crappie maybe what is it, a white I was wondering what the hell the deal was oh it's a crappie Baggins yeah, I was wondering, this tree's got like five of these ones on it. That's a sock of the and a half right there. No shit. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> How the fuck did he not get it, dude? Big one, smoked it. Smoked it and got the fuck out of town, it appears. Mmm. Donk. That one got it. He ain't very big, though. Can take him, dude. That is, like, not one of the big ones I've seen out here. That's how they eat it when they're not biting, right? Right. How is that possible? <laughs> Show that to the camera, if the camera's even still working. Headshot, six cents, Millican, Millican's ghost color down the throat when they're not biting. How? I don't know. Dude, that's the ugliest fish I've ever seen. Dude, that ain't good. What the f Jesus Christ. That is bizarre. What in the f What the f What? Dude, that's like some... We had a sickly one, now we got whatever this one is. That's insane. I don't give a shit if it's a freaking black, white, green, Purple or orange is four pounds. Dude, look at this fish. So weird.
Nico. Not as big as he wants to think he is, huh? Small boy. I just feel like the greatest fisherman in the world right now. I actually caught one. Dirty little boat chaser. Might help me. Of course he's decent. We gotta go after I get this one in. If I get this one in. Yeah, he's trying to be weird too, isn't he? Dude, there's that one stupid fish on that point. It's like a six, seven pounder. Fouled my jerk bait twice. She's but I know where she is. We'll get her tomorrow. It's the weirdest damn fish I've ever seen. Look at that thing. I think I got two fish. Seriously, come over here and make me feel like that. <laughs> I need you to get real loud. He's an Elite Series rookie. He's a Bassmaster Open winner. He's a classic qualifier. He's a YouTube sensation. Get loud for Ben Milliken. Five fish all alive. 18 pounds even with 40 pounds and nine ounces. Ben Milliken is in eighth place currently. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations making your first cut on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Nobody is shocked. Man, it is incredible. You've worked so hard to get here. And man, it's awesome to see your presence already being felt one event into the season. Yeah, man, it's been uh, it's been really eye-opening. It's been crazy. Um, love you guys. Thanks so much for all the support. And uh, we're gonna have to tear them up tomorrow. We just need to get out and get a big bag and hopefully get to Sunday. I hope you make it. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Tough day of fishing today, man. It was uh, it was a damn grind. Fish just would not get hooked or stay hooked for me. But um, ended up with 18 pounds even, which has us in 14th place. And that has us going to day three, the top 50 fish day three for those not familiar with it. So first tournament, we made the first cut, which means I get at least $10,000, which is pretty cool. 
and uh, also uh, if I make the top 10 then I fish on Sunday so that's the goal today ended up getting him on a provoke jerk bait and strolling just a, a little plastic and I don't know I just got swerved a lot I think that the fish they're not like going to spawn it doesn't seem like but it's a full moon tonight and it really seems to have a funk so i think we're gonna we're gonna do some similar stuff in some similar spots but i got a couple areas that i thought would be more productive based on my pre-practice that just have not been productive at all uh, in practice of the tournament that i think the fish are maybe got in and then um really the spot where, where i did catch a couple of those fish at the end there is loaded they just won't freaking bite. So who knows, maybe they'll bite tomorrow. I'm gonna try some different sneaky stuff. Nico rig, might even put a Ned rig on or something just to try to make them bite. But we need to get back in the hunt. It's not gonna take a mega bag or anything to get into that top 10 cut, but I didn't really come here hoping to get a top 10. So we need to get back on pace. Pat Schlopper's leading it with 55. And this is a place where you can get right in a hurry. He's fishing the same creek that we were fishing today, just further back and clearly there's a uh, better quality ones. So um, we're not gonna go mess with his stuff at all. And we're just gonna have to catch him better. There's always a chance though his fish could leave. He could catch 20, that puts him at 75. And to get to 75, we need 35 or 30. So we gotta catch him. We got some work to do. Koya has 25 or 24 and 31. So he's got a little bit less and so we got some work to do to get back on pace to uh, have a chance to win this thing. So, that being said, we're gonna take in this beautiful sunset at Toledo Bend, drink some brewskis, and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye, peace.